What's up guys welcome back to another video today we have a new update for oneplus 6 which is in the form of open beta 3 based on android pi so let me show you the software information first going to settings about phone and here you can see oxygen os open beta 3 android version is android 9 with a security patch of 5th september 2018 my device was rooted so i had to install the complete zip file which i have placed it inside the internal storage to flash that i've used blue spark recovery so I have already updated my device, there are not much of changes available, few bug fixes and improvements have been done. Directly moving on to the change logs. So these are the change logs related to system, parallel app and oneplus switch. Under system, first one is fixed stability issues with the ambient display. Previously I had no issues with the ambient display on beta 2, but few users must be having issues and which has been fixed now. But always on display is still not been added on this build. After that, improved stability for face unlock and fingerprint scanner and both of them are working fine on this build. And there is no delay with the fingerprint sensor and face unlock. After that, added support to launch Google Assistant or third party assistant app by holding power button. So that can be found here in the settings, going to buttons and gestures and you get a new option quick activate the assistant app which says hold power button for 0.5 seconds to activate the assistant app. So let's try that, I have already enabled it. And here you can see Google Assistant pops up. So 0.5 seconds to launch assistant app and 3 seconds for the power menu. And the next update is related to parallel app which says added support for more applications like Telegram, Discord, Uber, Ola in the parallel app section. So let's go to the parallel app section. In the latest update as they say they have added support for Ola, Telegram and other application. And the next change log is related to oneplus switch application which has been upgraded to version 2.1. Under which it says added manual connection method if you are unable to connect switch with QR code. So now they have added a manual option to connect with the older devices. So let me show you that going to oneplus switch, select an old phone and here now you have an option of can't connect QR code, go next, you get the manual option to connect your device now. After that it says supported backup and recovery for application data including home screen, lock screen and app layout. And now you can also backup and restore data of the applications including home screen, lock screen and app layout. After that under oneplus switch application, bug fixes and support for more android device. And they have also mentioned the known bugs which says some applications might not function as expected when running on beta version. Google Pay services is not working which was previously also not working on beta 2 and still it has not been fixed. Now talking about the benchmark results. With Geekbench applications single course code 2394 were in multi course code 8830 which are almost same to the previous update. With Android 2 benchmark application, the device scored 292,131, but on the previous update, it was somewhere around 290,000. So, guys, these were the things available on Oxygen OS Open Beta 3, which is based on Android Pi. And if you have any kind of questions, you can let me know in the comment section below. As of now, only this much in this video. Hope you like the video, and if you like the video, then do give me a thumbs up. Also, if you are new to my channel, then do not forget to subscribe the channel. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.